everybody, what's going on? Jerome here along with Ben and Tootie, and today we have for you guys an awesome game of Shell Shock Live. We're going to be talking about would you rather situations, uh, and a big shout out and thank you <laughs> to our sponsor for this, Blue Apron. Thank you so much for sponsoring this show, Blue Apron. Uh, it should be a lot of fun, and Ben, you're, you're out already? I love this game. Ben lost. Well, basically, guys, for this show, if you haven't seen us when we've done this in the past, we're just going to be playing the game in the background, and today's topic, like I said, is would you rather. So, Ben, you have a bunch of different would you rather questions for us to answer. Uh, we're yep, going to go I through and explain our answers and all that. Right, Ben? Yep. Okay, so the first question is, would you rather become a superhero or a supervillain? I mean, so, I think we, obviously a superhero, right? I mean, what, what what entails being a superhero and a supervillain? It's just what you use your powers for, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you can't have good without evil. So if drums a superhero, I'll be a supervillain. You know what? If the, what about the middle ground? Where's the super apathetic? The people who have superpowers <laughs> and just don't really care about <laughs> about saving people or causing harm. Me, just the super me, apathetic. <laughs> me. That that would be you, Tootie. That would be so me. <laughs> Honestly, though. That, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why this just came into my head and I'm like, wait a minute, this needs to be a thing. The, this, well, group mean, of, I, this group of superhuman is underrepresented in today's comic books. <laughs> you know why they're underrepresented? Because they don't care. They don't do anything. <laughs> 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 they're there. They just don't show up. Yeah, they just, they're just that. On a side just... note, that was probably the most damage I've ever done during Marksman. 215. <laughs> What? Yeah, that is actually kind of ridiculous. So, yes, yeah. Jerome, you said you'd be a superhero. Tootie said he'd be super ap apathetic. Um, yeah. I, 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 I honestly, I think I'd be a supervillain. Super you really villain. would. You really would, Ben. I yeah, can a super see villain. No, not just because, you know, King and Nasty, but they seem to always have a lot more fun before they die. <laughs> wow! So that's what you gauge it off of is is yeah, upon I mean, death. What, not, what about the, the whole in between time your, thing? Life is just your journey, isn't it? So I mean, that, their journey sounds fun. That's very true. <laughs> that, that's what I'm basing it off of. So all right, well, you heard it here. Ben's evil. <laughs> no, I'm not evil. I'm just saying, if I had superpowers, I'd want to have fun with them. I yeah. wouldn't want to have the burden of you know saving. That sounds much worse when you say it like that. <laughs> I don't want to have the burden of saving people. <laughs> right? Jeez. Made me sound so bad. <laughs> okay, next question. <laughs> All right, what we what we got next, bud? What's Would you rather be a wizard or a vampire? Wizard. A wizard? Why would you ever want to voluntarily have to suck blood from people? <laughs> well, I, wow, this is going to make me sound even worse. Um, uh, I would much rather be a vampire. Why? I mean, you get to be a bat, sure, but wizards not, can... No, like... no, not because of the bat. Immortality. Vampires aren't immortal. Yes, yeah. they are. No. I mean, for the, a, I mean, a for the most stake. part... I well, mean, yeah, no, but you know what I mean. Like, they can live thousands of years. Until a wooden uh, stake hits them in the heart. But it just, like... I don't know. Vampires just look funny, in my opinion. Yeah, I'm not yeah, I mean, feeling I don't want to go outside and start... Yeah, you know what? Fine, I'll be a wizard, but I want to be Merlin. Because wizards, you know, actually, that's a great question. If you were a wizard, what would you be? Which which favored, like, famous wizard would you be? I'd be Merlin from the animated Sword in the Stone. Well, really? I, you know, I haven't really thought too much into what kind of wizard I would be. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. See uh, here, Harry yeah, Potter. Honestly, no. I'd be Rumpelstiltskin. <laughs> I, I would, would I would probably be. be uh, if I had to pick anyone, pro probably Dumbledore. You know what? That's actually a really good choice. Actually, no, 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 no. D would it, Gandalf? Is he considered a wizard? Gandalf's a wizard. Okay, Gandalf. Interesting. Okay. I'm okay with this. Gandalf's yeah. cool, dude. I don't know. Gandalf's yeah, really okay. cool. I like okay. it. Yeah. So on, on our next one, we have here. If you had your choice of portable gaming devices, would you rather choose a Nintendo DS or a PSP? Oh, the DS all the way. I was a huge Pokemon fan growing up on the mobile games. I Definitely mean, a DS, yeah. Yeah, the PSP was cool when they came out with uh, the Battlefront for it. I liked that. I did like Battlefront on the PSP. But, I mean, Pokemon, dude. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, that is like their main selling factor. I think the PSP just wasn't the best device. Oh, well, I, I mean, lost. I mean, nothing ag I, I enjoyed oh. it. I, I just... Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, Tony, this is a ridiculous shot for you, bud. If you make this, no. 
Well, Jerome, you lost. So, I mean, that solves it. Literally, Nintendo DS Pokemon. Yeah. How did you yeah, hit that? Much. Well, now I'm the one who lost. How in the world did you pull that one off, Tootie? X attack? You literally hit anything? I got really set up. Like, I have... Like, you you lost, Jerome. Uh, okay. I got, oh, I got a bit more of a funny one this no time. No way. Ah, oh, GG, bud. GG. Jerome, take us into our next round so I can actually play. Yeah, okay, okay. That was a good round, though. That was... That was yeah, really it really good. was. Okay. Would you rather have comically large feet or comically oversized head? Definitely a big head. You think a big... No, comically sized feet, for sure. No, I'd have a Why? really big head. Because y your head, like... Imagine trying to communicate with people. And you just had a huge head and people would be like... How funny just, would that be? No, dude, yeah, but they, you're wrong. You're yeah. forgetting one thing. The brain power. You but it doesn't it. work like that. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. No, it doesn't. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. Who... What? What's smarter? Sure. Humans or, or, or elephants? Elephants. Elephants. Yeah. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> Next question, please. Okay, I'm, 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 finding, I'm finding a good one here. Um, Whee! Okay. Here's a good one. Jerome. Oh, no. Would you rather communicate oh, no. with animals or speak every language fluently? Every language fluently, for sure. No doubt. Like, I'd zero to... doubt. That'd be so cool. Can you imagine I'd... just being able to talk to anybody, anywhere, or understand anything anyone was saying? Communicate to animals, because in my lifetime, I can learn different languages, but nobody yeah. else can communicate to animals. But what valuable thing? Let's be real. What, what valuable thing do you think, like, talking to, like, a squirrel is going to be? Hey, how's it going? Acorn! Guys! The guy that can talk to animals, the biggest TV show, the millionaire who can talk yeah. to animals. Right. But yeah, but how could be... you possibly prove that you could talk to What did you say? Oh, the squirrel said he liked acorns. <laughs> like, what but you... if you could communicate with animals, I'm sure you could reason with them and make them do things as well. If you could yeah, properly exactly. communicate with them. For an acorn. I could. I can literally take over Russia with squirrels. Think about that, Jerome. <laughs> wow! This just... <laughs> Got taken to a weird place. <laughs> imagine that, Jerome. A really Watch weird squirrels. place. Because imagine the news article. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't know. If, uh, you know, I, world overrun by squirrels and penguins. Now, where do the penguins come from in all this? I Antarctica, obviously. Yeah, but I they had to get. It, well, they they come in. They come into the. They come into the plan next, right? Because the squirrels have to build the. But boats. bear in mind, just because you can communicate with bears, them, Tootie, How That's could you? I'll... You have to think. How could you convince them to do these things, though? Money. <laughs> money. Oh, what was right? a penguin gonna do with money? <laughs> Buy a really good suit. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Jerome, okay. You're... I just want to say thank you to Blue Apron as well for sending me the product for free to try out so I can tell you guys a little bit more about it. The great part about Blue Apron is that they use high quality ingredients so that you can enjoy. I personally love Blue Apron. The food tastes fantastic, it's easy to make, and just believe me, it just makes cooking a lot simpler. My favorite parts about Blue Apron is that not only is it affordable, but they also give you a nice variety of different foods to try from. Another cool thing about it is that it's really, really easy to make the food that they provide you with, and not only that, they're flexible. You can actually create different types of meals based on your preferences so that each week you're getting something that really fits your food palette. Not only that, but Blue Apron's freshness guarantee promises that every single ingredient upon delivery is ready to cook, or else they'll make it right. Check out this week's menu and get your first three meals free Free, with free shipping by going to blueapron.com backslash Jerome and Ryan. You'll love how good it feels and tastes to create incredible home cooked meals with Blue Apron. So don't wait. That's blueapron.com slash Jerome and Ryan. Blue Apron, a better way to cook. Wow, good job. Next question Would you rather play Slenderman or play Amnesia? Oh, those are both fantastic games. They are great games. And um, I'd go. I if I've played through both of those extensively, like, like a lot. But if I had to, I'd play through Amnesia again. I, I, I would agree. I I like both of them. I really do. Um, but I like Amnesia because it has more of a storyline. 
I understand yeah, they had and Slender the Arrival, which I guess was like sort of a storyline to one. Uh, not even sort of, it was a storyline. But I, I do Amnesia. I think it definitely Amnesia. Because yeah. the thing with the Amnesia, the more you play through it, the more of the story you start to understand from all the hidden secrets and stuff. It's yeah. great. Not only that, but Slender's just a jump scare game, so... Yeah. Here. I'm not a big fan of them. I just, you know, it's got to have some story to get you drawn in to make you scared, in my opinion. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I like stories and games that make you want to really. Because the thing with, like, Slender, Dude. it's. Oh, no. What? What's wrong? Oh, no. What? Dude. What is it? Trick shots only! <laughs> of you got this, Tootie. Of course I do. Um, let's go with a, uh... No. Oh. Well, I lost. Step one. Got, Got him. him. Got him real good, guys. That was, that was beautiful. That was beautiful. <laughs> so what were you saying, Ben? Are we were going on to the next question. Oh, okay. On to the next question, obviously. Okay, Jerome. Yeah? Would you rather be a genius in the world of unintelligent people or be unintelligent in a world of geniuses? Oh, that's rough. That is. That's, yeah. Have See, a think I, about li it. I like the notion of being blissfully unaware. I do. Um, I don't know. I guess, I guess I'd rather... I'd still rather be the smartest. I'd rather be a genius in a world of idiots, but no, I'd rather I'd rather be I'd rather be the worst because I just blissfully unaware is what Jerome would say. Because if I was the smartest person, I would have to do everything. I would have to do all the work. I'd have to create I'd have to invent everything. If I was the idiot, everyone would make things surrounding me. Hmm. Think about it. Oh no! That's what I would I would go with that. Okay, no, that's fair. You would definitely have to do less work. And hey, hey, now I got I got a win under my belt. I got one win. Wowie, duder. Okay, well, you know what? We're gonna. Ben, what about you? No, what about me? Um, the smartest out of everybody because my ego would love it. You know what? Can't argue with that. No, yeah. Okay. On to the next question. And, okay. and ready up, Ben. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. There we go. Bean, bean. Okay, so next question. Mm -hmm. This one is actually quite cool. Would you rather spend a year alone in a deep sea submarine or spend a year alone in a space station? Space station. Oh, space station for sure. Yeah. That's not yeah, even... I'm actually scared who of would, submarines. Who would want to be stuck in a submarine alone for a year? No, when, stop. Like, you can't see anything. There's weird creatures and stuff floating around. It's dark. It's... You're way underwater, and the other one, you get to float around and see like the the, the Earth. You get to see and, the stars. And think about it, like think about coming back, you know, in the future. Be like, so what happened to you? I was like, I was stuck in a tin can in the water for a year. Or you'd be like, right. oh yeah, I was on a great space expedition for uh, NASA for a year. Oh, and low gravity too, so you can't beat and, that. And low gravity. I die, but Jerome bounces off the floor and wins. I love this game. Well, Ben, it was a disco ball. It was going to hit it anyway. Like, look, look at the, like, oh, you can't even see the trajectory of it. But it was it, mm. all over spread. Okay. Pew. So, this is a bit of a confusing one, but I think it's a good one. Would you rather have anything you write down become truth or know all the truths there are now? Wow. I would, I would be able. To, I would write because that way I could write, I could write the world, pretty much. I don't even have to change anything, but I could just write the world as I see fit. As is like narcissistic as that sounds, as terrible as that. Yeah, sounds. it really does sound really. It, so, it sounds bad, but <laughs> like I could write the truths almost as is. Right? I would, I would, I would write the truths. I would totally. I don't want to know yeah. everything. I, I don't yeah. think anyone genuinely wants to know everything. There's some things that you just don't want to know. Exactly. Uh, so Very true. I think, honestly, like... <laughs> the first thing I write down, the moon is made of cheese. 
<laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, no. no, I would totally love for that. If you could just write down something and it happens, like, what if you're hungry and you're sitting there? I did put a hamburger in the closet. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> oh no, oh no. no. Speaking, of- it is though. I don't think anybody would want to know everything can- there is to know. So, leading on to the next question, would you rather attempt to survive a computer uprising in brackets Terminator? Okay. okay. Or attempt to survive a zombie outbreak, but the zombies are from 28 days later. Hmm. I do the zombie outbreak 28 days later. The, the zombie oh, one, my. yeah, because, like, I mean, Ben, computer, you're not going to win that one. No, I mean, there's really you... no winning in either of them scenarios, right? Uh, the zombie one, I mean, get to a total. 28, have you seen that movie? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I actually liked it. I was waiting for them to do 28 months later. Because they did 28 weeks later. I was, wait, I was waiting for 28 months later. But I don't think it's ever going to happen. I have seen that. 28 weeks later? Yeah, I've only seen the original. Oh, 28 weeks was pretty cool, too. At, at the very, very, very end, without spoiling anything. I, yeah, I'm not going to say anything. Just, it was good. It was good. So you're saying it's worth watching, then? Yes. Oh, yeah. Big time. But I'd probably I'd rather face the zombies there because think about like computers what they can do. So zombies like technically technically, let's say you got inside of a place that zombies couldn't get get behind this like a giant wall, right? Like zombies yeah. couldn't get there. Your life life was good, all that stuff. You know you could grow your own food. Okay, computers on the other hand, if there's a computer uprising, they could literally send a drone overhead and go, oh that's where they are, nuke. Fair. Yeah, like, no, like, yeah. Like literally like that's what they are. Nuke. Like they have access to every weapon that that we have. Like no mm-hmm. way. No. No. Zambies. No, I'm a, Ta- I'll Zambies. I'll bring on the Zambies. 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 Oh, there you go. So a more a more fun question. Would you rather be Gandalf or be Luke Skywalker? <gasps> oh no. I'll go with Luke. Mostly because Luke knows how to how to how to drive the uh, what are they called the speeders called? The, you mean the X wings? But it didn't it's... tell you that. You no, did no, no. He, I mean, I know he could do X wings, sure. But you know, like the what, he 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 did that race. The uh, I'm gonna look this up. The Luke Skywalker speeder. It was like in the first movie. You're talking. You're thinking Anakin. No, you're no. Thinking Anakin Skywalker. Luke Skywalker's X thirty four land speeder. You mean that oh. little orange thing? Dude, yeah. that's so bad. What? You don't think it looks cool? No. No, definitely not. No? No. I, I, no. I don't know. Fine. <laughs> there's, there's a question here. Um, I'm just going to screen. Fine. Check. Okay. No no land speeder. I man. would, I'd honestly, I'd rather be Gandalf. Gandalf's Same. story. Because one, Gandalf lives a lot longer. No! That's hilarious, Trump. There's Gandalf, no way that missed. Gandalf lives a lot longer than Luke. Gandalf has a way cooler storyline as well. Like, think about it. Gandalf goes through. Gandalf helps Bilbo go defeat Smog, and he goes through the Fellowship of the Ring. So much, so much. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Ready up, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Um, would you rather be able to talk slash control machines? Okay. Or be able to produce unlimited amounts of electricity. Communicate with machines. Yeah, I'd go with communicate with yeah, machines. Yeah, the electricity oh. one doesn't really matter. It, it just doesn't matter in today's society. There's like, I'm sitting in a room to... right now where I, I probably have 10 outlets and then a power box that could fit another eight. <laughs> like. Yeah, but Jerome, produce unlimited amounts. There's no shortage of energy. All of America. Do you know how much money you could make off of that? Ben, how much? But no, no, Ben. Think about this. Is it something? How? How much? You know, I lost this game. You can, you can, you can produce unlimited power per se, Ben. Right. However, it doesn't say at what speed. Maybe it's like a really slow speed. Do you, like powering all of America? Do you just sit there shoving your finger into an outlet? Is it charged yet? <laughs> Is it charged? And, and also yet? to like, be fair, I I hate to, I hate to 
talk business wise about it, but you still just because you could produce it all doesn't mean you can afford the wires doesn't mean you can afford the other methods of shipping it. Uh, you know, th there's a lot yes. more that goes. You can't store yes, it could. if there's excess energy. And but what are you drone. supposed to do? Sit there with your finger t uh, poking a, a wire all day, and that's that's your life. Oh, yeah, that's man. what. Right. No, I, mean, no, 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 no. I mean, sure. I mean, the next one's really good. I okay. would. Would you rather play real life Minecraft or real life Mario Kart? Minecraft. Wow. Mm, mine. Yeah, probably Minecraft. What really? But the thing Mario Kart is something you can already do because it's just cars. I mean, yeah. cool. You, you know, you can do some cool things here and there. But Minecraft is a game in which you can build and create beautiful structures, explore boundless anything. You can explore anything, create whatever you want. You can literally create your own world. Yeah. Or do you want to do you want to race around in scooters for a couple of hours? Like you could build anything you ever wanted, and most blocks in Minecraft don't even have gravity uh, affecting them. So, so imagine if you could just literally build your wildest dreams. That sounds pretty cool. Huh. No, yeah, no, it does. I I agree. I agree. Ben just really you, wants Tootie. to play Mario Kart. I do. Tootie's gonna get you. <laughs> it's gonna get you. Okay, when you walk into a room, would you rather have everybody stare awkwardly or have everybody look away in disgust? Stare awkwardly. Stare definitely. awkwardly, yeah. I try yeah, to make that I, I try to make that happen anyways. Shame. People, do, people do that anyways. I just heal you into like a, a supermarket or something and everyone's like, what? <laughs> just confuses okay. them. Yeah. Dude, this one is one that bothers me. Okay. okay. Would you rather sit on a freezing cold toilet seat, uh, or no. sit on a sit on a toilet seat that's been warmed by somebody else's bottom? Oh, cold, <laughs> cold, 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 cold. 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 Definitely yeah. cold. I'd rather go on the cold toilet seat. <laughs> dude, dude, that question is such a yep, cold all day for me too. Yeah, it's just mm. uncomfortable. Oh, oh, just the thought of it. Ah, gg. Oh dear. No, no. Okay. One more. If Another? you were a TV executive, would you resurrect your favorite cancelled show of all time for one season or cancel your most hated show ever? I'd resurrect my favorite show for one season. I want to know what happens in Jericho. That show. Never watched it. I, they only got two seasons out of it. And I, I, it, I loved it. I abs They got canceled after season one. They got so many complaints that they resurrected it. And I'm not. I'm not. Uh, let me make sure 100 before I say this because I don't want to be called a liar. Uh, oh, oh, that would have nailed him. Yeah, here it is. If you type in Jericho Peanuts, it'll come up with articles about after they canceled it. There was a, a, a famous line in the last episode that they, uh, in the last episode, they quoted a famous line from a, from a U.S. general in which, which he basically, when asked to surrender, just said the words nuts to someone. So they quoted that in like the last episode of the, uh, the season, right? And then all of a sudden they canceled the show. So a bunch of fans, and not just a bunch, like thousands of fans, sent in peanuts to them like thousands and thousands of a pounds of peanuts to the show at oh, cbs no. until they uncanceled it for a season i'm not kidding you and you, you can read the article there's one right here by abc news nutty jericho fans make cbs reconsider canceling show and then in like the first line it says a campaign to send cbs thousands of thousands of peanuts to protest the network's decision to cancel a television show appears to be working so what? Yeah, so it got uncancelled because they just sent thousands of pounds of peanuts to them. It's amazing. Really? And what that's how you know it's a good show. I would definitely resurrect a show. What show? It'd be it's it'd be an anime that they cancelled and it was Which a, one? It, it was called Dead Man Wonderland and it was a phenomenal show. Never watched it. It is it's What's a it about? it's a, basically this kid. This kid gets sent to this, um, he gets framed for doing terrible things and he has to go to this weird prison and he's trying and, he, and he's basically, he's trying to escape and it just, 
abruptly ends because it wasn't as popular as like it could have been but it was so well made and it makes me so angry it was just a really really cool show okay nice and um, for me it would be resurrect and i'd resurrect to firefly Oh, which one was Firefly? I don't remember that. that was... No, Jerome. Oh, Jerome. Jerome. Is that an anime or? No. no! Oh, Jerome. Oh. What is Firefly? It's on so a very weird talk. Did you see they're they are actually bringing it back soon? Are they really, Ben? Firefly. It's so good. It. It's so good. It has one of the coolest actors ever in it. Okay, Firefly TV show. I need to know this. Space Western drama? What does that mean? Dude, it's so good. A Space Western drama? What? It's so good. So it, it, Especially with Nathan Fillion, because Nathan Fillion God. is amazing. What? I don't... What? How is this a question? Uh, what? <laughs> okay. Would you rather... I'm only reading this one out because it makes me laugh. So we don't have to answer it. Okay. Would you rather <laughs> play a game of Quidditch? Okay. Or take a field trip. I'm not even making this up. Take a field trip with Miss Frizzle. That's Miss Frizzle. Yeah, Miss Frizzle, the magic school bus. I'd do that one. Yeah, definitely Miss Frizzle. What? Yeah, that's actually a thing. Yeah, yeah magic this... school bus. I totally. Hop on the yeah. magic school bus. Boop boop. Never heard of the show. Dude, 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 Magic School Bus was my jam, dude. Yeah, Ben, you're missing out, bud. Yeah, oh. you're missing out, dude. Okay, here's another. Fine, we'll go right into the next one. Would you rather be able to fly or be able to breathe underwater? Fly. Fly, yeah. All day long, fly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, underwater's yeah. cool and all, but... There's also sharks there. how tiring it is, swimming. <laughs> and there's also sharks there, so I'm good. Are I mean, you I'm scared of sharks. No, I I'm scared of like all deep sea life. I I'm just scared of the unknown. So like, let's say I go out swimming, I can go out to like my chest. I'm I'm fine. I'm okay. It's as soon as I can't touch the bottom or see below where my feet are that I just start to panic. Like if I'm if I, like as a friend, if I'm somewhere <laughs> tropical where like you could see underwater for like like 10, 15 feet underwater, that's fine. I just can't do with like. Darker water, you can't. I, I don't. I Jerome, can't do that. I can't. Have do that I anymore. told you about the time I was snorkeling in Egypt? No, but I feel like it's gonna make me not right. want to go snorkeling. So let, let me uh, let me t t tell you. So this is the first time I'd gotten into water again uh, since like four, four years. It's the first time I've been in the sea on my own in four years. You know, I I'm not a big water person. You know, I don't like it, and uh, I you know I just felt like going snorkeling and giving it a try again. So I'm out there. I'm having a great time, you know. Absolutely amazing, you know, seeing the coral reefs like that. Okay. Uh, I'm just, I'm just swimming along, you know. You could see about 20 foot down through the water, so it was amazing. I, uh, I'm out, I'm out about 40 feet at this point from the shore. I'm out a long way, and I can still see the bottom. And all of a sudden, I just see this dark thing in front of me. And I'm like, what is that? And I just kind of keep going without thinking about it. Okay. And uh. I get closer towards it, and I get over the top of it. It was apparently a 200 foot deep, like 200 foot deep. It was black. You could not see the bottom. Just, just think about that. You're sick. I, by this point, I was 50 foot away from the shore, and, and all of a sudden, a it just went pitch black. Yeah, just a straight drop, straight cliff face. Not, it wasn't like a, you know, a nice steady runoff. This was a yeah. straight drop. No, see, no, I, no, no, I'm good. <laughs> yeah, I swam. I turned around real quick. It, I've honestly never felt my stomach sink so quickly. Oh, I got, I have plenty of uh, fun water stories from living on a sailboat. Dude, you totally mistook the target for the times <laughs> two. <laughs> 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 I was like, great, this guy's is gonna be real easy. Why is there even double damage? It got me way too good, guys. Oh, Ben, no. No. That's Come gonna on. be GG. Aww. There's no way, Ben. You know on what, to the next question. When there's a will, there's a way. Oh. 
Oh, no. that would have been so cool. No! I actually, I was rooting for you there. Uh, but anyway, everybody, I think that's the perfect time to call this episode quits. So if you all enjoyed, make sure you smash that like button as well as subscribe. And a huge thank you once again to our sponsor, Blue Apron. Uh, thank you so much for sponsoring this video as always. And have an amazing night, my friends. Bye, everybody.